I'm sure you're just pleased as punch to see me playing this guitar and not talking. Not going to talk. What am I going to talk about? There's a guy out there supposed to give me some info on a label that's interested in putting out. Ah! Another guy needs to send me back stuff so he can start work on a painting guitar that he should have been done with five years ago. Let's go! I just... That guitar that I got a few about a month ago that was broken, neck is broken, I got sent it back. I sent it back because the guy that was working there, here's the thing on eBay. He had me go outside of the eBay thing and he said, well, you send it back. Just send it back and you will be compensated. So I sent it back. UPS, they sent it to me, FedEx. They had a FedEx account. But he didn't tell me to, you know, I'm going to give you a, you know, invoice and then blah, 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 and they come and pick it up. He didn't do that because he didn't want to get in trouble. He was already getting it, going to get in trouble for having, there's no way that guitar was, was destroyed. I think I showed it to you. So I got the $309 for the guitar, which is nothing. They're, it's actually, these guitars are worth a lot of money. I'm going to get one. But he didn't, they wouldn't want to pay the $116 same. this time tomorrow and I did with this person or these uh, this place if you buy anything you ask for Heather not DJ because DJ is jerking me around for a month and then I finally got hold of well the owner saw that I was going to bring my attorney in and she freaked out and paid me immediately so I got all my money back but it took a while eBay is very it's getting a lot better with do, doing that kind of crap do you care? No. In fact, half of you have already tuned out. So last night I was cruising down the street, looking so neat. I see this chick. She's like walking up the street. She's got shorts on, and I'm like, she's got to be freezing. And she's like, you know, come here, come here, come here. So I go over, and I pick her up, and she's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm just cruising around, man. I'm on my way somewhere friend's house. She goes, well, can I go? Can you give me a ride? I'm like, sure, you know. So, uh, I gave her a ride, and okay, that's a true story, but it happened in 1986, five, and I was in my Ford Granada. I had a 77 Ford Granada. That was my first car, because I was a dad at 18, so I figured I needed a family car. And I was on my way to, I think, my drummer, and the girl was walking, and I picked her up, and I think I didn't get rid of her for four days. And then it happened again when I was coming home from Hollywood, and this girl was walking up uh, Kawanga, and I picked her up and brought her home <laughs> five days. And then she's like, oh, I have to go. I go, where? She's like, Michigan or some M state back east. I go, how? She's like, oh, I've got a plane ticket. She shows me. I'm like, so you got to get to, you know, the airport. You want me to take you? She's like, no, I'll take a taxi. I'm like, are you sure? She goes, no. She called up. Tech. That was in 1987. Pretty yes, 87. 87 was a crazy year because 
I was right there with Trick or Treat, and Mandy just destroyed it. But as far as everything else, man, everything was going pretty good. And I was looking real good in 87. I was like, my diet of uh, snow and uh, beer with, you know, whiskey in, at night seemed to be going pretty good. I was down to about 146 pounds. Looked like hell. I mean, I looked good on stage, but this one girl says, Oh, she, you look like a skeleton. I'm like, all right, that's it. I got to start working out. So I did. And I bulked up. Not bulked up, but I looked, you know, got muscle. Because I didn't want to look like a skeleton. That wasn't a, a very good look. So there you go. Here's your story. Not made up, just not in this. Like last night, I went and I, at 5.30 in the morning, I went and sent two pick guards to my guy up in Oregon to have them custom made into a little different shape. Well, one's for a 76 Thunderbird. I mean, I have a mirrored, mirrored one made. Because Gene Simmons had one in the 70s. 77. Look it up on the Love Gun Tour. He played a black 76 Gibson Thunderbird with a Mary Pick Guard. I saw it at the Phantom of the Park concert that I went to. And uh, the other one was the Blue SG. I had one that I bought offline, of course, didn't fit. So I sent him that Pick Guard. He's going to make them. He sent them to me. If they're all right, I pay him. That's how cool this guy is. He's done all of Paul Stanley's mirrored guitars since the reunion. All, well, he was doing Trip Eisen and Static X until he got framed by the other guy that's in the reunited Static X, the Chinese or Japanese dude. He framed Trip to get him thrown out so he could get back in the band. That's a fact. And he was going to do this resurrection with uh, Tony Campos. I don't know if anybody even knows who Static X is. This is going to be a hard thing to pull off because Wayne Static was Static X. It's like Motley Crue going out without Vince Neil and Mick Mars. That would suck. It would be called 6AM with rap. Ugh! I don't like 6AM. I don't like anything Tommy does. So, And Mick Mars has put out like his solo album like I've been trying to put mine out. <laughs> Mine's done, though. They got ten songs ready to go. And let's play some right now, okay? Good. Good. <laughs> 